This is how we're doing it today, guys. Doing it big. Oh, I can't get in with one hand. Hold on. Trying to walk with one hand. There we go, guys. We're doing it big. We gotta head out to the casino and do this today. Oh yeah. Wish you guys can come along. Uh, next time, send me a message and we'll do this. I got money on the line, plus I'm clocking it below. I got bitches kissing, bitches results and bitches go explore. I'm feeling way up. Well, I stay up. Put your bitch on my Snapchat. When I fuck my makeup, she want a chance with me. Cause she know I'm a rapper. I give a but I never get feelings to shorty. I know what you have. Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy Jackpot Famous. Anyways. I'm so excited because coming up shortly is going to be the tutorial or the my techniques and the tips and tricks on the advanced level play of Dragon Link. But what I wanted to do real quick is I get a lot of questions asked, how do you pick a machine? Dragon Link specifically. So this is what I do, how I find a machine that's going to hit. Actually one of the techniques that I use is going to be in the advanced level. So I don't want to give that away yet, but this is what you do in general when you walk up to a Dragon Link machine and how I pick them. You're going to look for a couple things. One, let me get my ticket here. Come on, get in there. All right. One thing you're gonna wanna do, let me put my uh, player's card in, that's another thing. People are superstitious. It's another thing I'll talk about. Use the player's card or don't use the player's card. I pretty much always use the player's card, but you're gonna wanna look for a couple of things. One, is the machine a low bet or high bet machine or a combination of the both? You're gonna wanna be familiar with the casino floor and you're going to want to see if there's action right away. So you're going to do something that I... Well, there's another technique. I'll kind of give it away a little bit. It's called jump betting. J-U-M-P. Jump betting. That's what I do when I walk into a machine. So I'm going to do some of those things right now. I've never played this game yet. I just walked into this no smoking room here at Grayton. And I'm going to see if this is a machine that I would continue to play. So... Here we go. Let me just pick, I don't know, two cent. Kinda doesn't really matter. Let me. I don't like it super loud. So I'll just pick any denom. All right. You'd have to watch some of my other series on what I'm looking for. And that's actually a good thing for you to go and do right now because I'm looking for something specific. But. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm applying some of my techniques from the beginner and intermediate level. And, oh, this button, this button's kind of jacked up. So I'll jump around, jump betting. Just jump around to random denoms, random bet sizes. And I'm looking for action. If you hear me slapping the button, I'm not slapping the button, it's just the button stuff. So I'm playing different bet sizes, different denominations. Um, jump, betting. And I'm looking for activity, I'm looking for action. And this is what I'll generally do. And I'm also looking to see if it's a low bet or high bet machine. So I'll, I'll place a bunch of random low bets and see what I'm getting. And I'll just keep doing that, let's see. Little activity, I'll try one more, if not. All right. I'm just gonna keep jumping around my bets and then it's going to help me sort of determine if this game is active enough to play or if it uh, is going to be a low bet or high oops oh, that was loud if it's a low bet or high bet machine so the, act the activities yeah it's not really exciting to me but how i usually let's just go with this let's this is how i determine if it's a low bet or high bet machine one cent. Let's just do a 50 cent bet. Alright, let's see if we get... There's a little activity. We got some bonus round icons. We got... Um, 
Some fireballs appearing. Just trying to make something happen. Looks like there's a little activity on a low bet. Actually not bad for 50 cent. Okay, so we're gonna just go up, we're gonna just step it up, go up to the $1, the $1 bet. Still on the one penny. Doesn't seem too exciting. So it's gonna take a larger bet. I'm just gonna keep jumping up until I find the activity. So far, looks like 150 is seems to be given the most action so far but we haven't we haven't really got too far okay let's go up to 250. so i'm looking for where there's the most activity and what denomination and what bet size is going to give that to me and i'm going to start real low and then i'm just going to keep stepping up I'm gonna keep stepping up until I see a lot of positive activity or until I snag a decent bonus round. Nothing too uh, exciting. Now we're going up to, uh, we're on the two cent now, doing a $2 bet. All right, to me, so far, this is looking like it's gonna be a high bet machine. See, I don't pay too much attention to the major. A lot of people like to chase the major. Some of these max out at a thousand if you're playing a regular Dragon, Dragon Link, if you're playing Dragon Cash. I don't know what the max is. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they have a max. Um, but I find that you hit the major more often before it caps out at 1,000. So I don't pay too much attention to that. I've hit more majors below 1,000 than I've hit them at 1,000. So I'm gonna keep stepping it up. See, the larger the bet, it looks like, yes, yeah, it's gonna start building more activity. Okay, so, something like this, then I'm gonna start betting much, much larger. Not gonna wanna go real nuts, but I'm gonna start stepping it up. And then you're gonna find it start to get more active. So let's go to a 750 bet. Come on. Alright, let's go to 12.50. One more. Uh, let's go to 5 cent, 12.50. It's max. Bet that. Wow, see now it's starting to get a little more lively. Come on. Looks like something's happening here. coming I like the activity so it looks like it's gonna be a large bet machine okay come on it's gonna come in a couple couple spins here we're we're, we're getting close oh see what I'm talking about the major there we go that that's how I find a machine hold on things loud but that's how I find a machine whether it's gonna be a low bet or high bet machine and then I'll determine man this button come on get in there all right this is just to show you guys something come on let me play this round out now this button come on Got the camera all crooked, sorry. Buttons throw me off. Come on. One more. Darn button. Sorry about the camera, guys. But that is how I determine if it's a high bet, low bet machine. And that's how I pick a game to play. If I find enough activity, I'm gonna stick with it. 
and it depends on my gameplay for the day. Am I gonna bet small for the day? Am I gonna bet mid-range? Am I looking for a high bet machine? But that's how I uh, find a Dragon Link machine to play and how I determine if I'm going to play it and whether or not it's a low bet or high bet machine. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys. Let me get one more. All right, best of luck to you guys. I really appreciate all of you guys watching. I appreciate all the positive comments and thank you very much. So good luck to you guys at the slots and take care. All right guys, playing $15 a spin. It is, what's the date today? There we go. All right, let's see if we can pull off a hand pay out of this. Looks like we're gonna get a hand pay, come on. Let's keep going. Nice, come on, drop one of that mini minor major. Drop a minor up there. Come on. Come on, one more, drop one more. Oh, okay. I think we're able to get a hand pay. Alright. I always got the camera on crooked. Hold on. Keep going. Small one, but at least it's a hand pay.